Welcome to How Singapore Shops for Beauty. This is a lovely series that we're starting every Friday that you can travel with me and to explore the Singapore beauty market. To start off, we're going to learn a little bit more about Singapore. Singapore is currently a part of the Asia Pacific beauty market and is the one of the top parts of this market is an emerging market and to understand who and where Singapore is Singapore is also known as the Republic of Singapore and it is a sovereign island um, city-state that's in Southeast Asia so as a part of the Asia Pacific market um, it is an emerging market that is growing significantly it is average to be around in 2019, $1.7 million in their currency, Singapore dollars, which is the equivalent to $1.2 US dollars, um, according to Euromonitor. And their top companies in their market include L'Oreal, Procter & Gamble, and Estee Lauder. To continue how to understand how they shop for beauty, we need to understand their e-commerce market. So they do have an online experience, especially places like Sephora have really good e-commerce that they have transferred, not just in the Western market, but to the Asia Pacific market. So they do have a Sephora in their country and they have local brands and also international brands like L'Oreal, like Estee Lauder, like Fenty Beauty, like Benefit Cosmetics that are conquering the market. So as you can see some of these top brands, top rated brands include the Tom Ford, Gloria Mercier, we have Estee Lauder in their collection. So we also want to include influence, influencer marketing. So we have influencers as the expert. So the expert for influencers are also very important because there are key performance leaders and key opinion leaders in the Asian market. So you have Wendy Chen right here, who is a blogger, a YouTuber, who is a makeup addict, and she's really known for Plastic Cosmetics, which is her brand as well. But she does go over in Asia, specifically in um, Singapore, to talk about beauty, which is pretty amazing, as you can see. You can see the way she talks about her work. And so you also have an in-store experience in Singapore. So you have really big malls to have Singaporeans go and shop and experience a product live in store. So for example, this is the ION mall that is one of the top malls in Singapore and also a top tourist destination of how beautiful it is. So you have brands like Tiffany & Co, Cartier, you have Louis Vuitton here on just the outside and from this picture, but also on the inside you have Sephora, you have Chanel, you have L'Occitane in Provence there, you have a lot of western brands that have put themselves in the Asia Pacific market, specifically in Singapore, to actually reach that market and that target consumer to buy their products. And that was just a quick little brief about how the Singaporeans shop for skincare, for makeup, and cosmetics. So they shop online, in store, and also they use influencers to influence how they shop for their next big buy.